Guys, I hope you did just enjoy this awesome Minecraft animation parody of I've Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. And uh, honestly, I've got a bit of a feeling. Uh, I screwed up the pun there a little bit, but I think there might just be a sequel in the future. I don't know, the little ending might have set something up. But uh, of course, guys, if you did first and foremost enjoy this parody, then be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Hit that right now because this was a huge, huge project that I've been doing for a while now, trying to set up. And uh, honestly, I'm just so glad we finally got it done and dusted in time for December Christmas. So you guys 
hopefully did enjoy some nice little entertainment but of course guys if you do want to also support it even more then you can pick up a poster which will be hand signed at least the first thousand will be um i'll be going over to canada later this actually next week actually for a ski trip with everyone in the pack and i think uh i think press is not going though so He's a little bit of a jag. But um, yeah, I'll be going over and I'll be signing a thousand posters over there. Um, of course, after those thousand sell out, they will be uh, selling non-signed posters as well. So don't worry if you don't get to pick one up. But uh, if you do want one uh, signed and numbered, then be sure to go over there. It does help support us um, and future parodies, of course, that sequel right there. But of course, as all guys, comment your favorite part of the parody. I really want to know what your favorite part was. Mine, for example, and don't take mine just because I said it, uh, but my favorite part of it was, uh, I, I don't know why, but um, the first part of the final fight with Vic and the Mutant Skeleton, where it was just throwing Ender Pearls and smashing skulls, I don't know, it just looked really, really cool um, the way the animator did it. And that brings me to the next part, of course, everybody that worked on this video, a huge, huge shout out to Leitaz Animations, who is responsible for all the video that you just saw in that. Um, he did all of the animation from the start to the finish. And I do want to point out, one big thing of why this is so substantial, he did all of that in, I think, just over 30 days. 30 days he did that. Um, very, very awesome dob, um, and as a dob job. So of course, guys, go over to his channel and uh, send him a message and say how much of an awesome job he did on this parody. Hopefully going to be working with him on that sequel that we were talking about. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to working with him in the future. Did such an amazing job. Then moving over to the other half of it, which is of course all the audio, the lyrics, and the instrumentals. That would be our friend Shadybox, who did pretty much all the stuff for the uh, audio and actually no, just the lyrics from the Pokemon parody, which you may have already heard as well. If you haven't, highly suggest check that out as well. Um, yep, he is responsible for that. So of course, if you do want to go ahead and support him, be sure to check out the description for an iTunes link that will be up very, very shortly. It is Christmas period right now, so it's hard to process at the last minute, but be sure to check out um, in the description if it's there or not, and I will tweet out when it does come out eventually. And uh, last but not least, if you guys also want to pick up a shirt that we've designed for the parody, um, then be sure to check out the description as well. There'll be a Teespring campaign, and uh, this design is freaking awesome. Be sure to check out Josh Bruce or Inkbite who made this awesome, awesome design. He's also responsible for the poster design as well. It's a nice little sort of silhouette of the three-headed dragons from the parody. Um, absolutely amazing, and that will be a limited edition run, but we may have that up in a merch store later on if I do get that going. Or the campaign on Teespring will keep re-rolling so that you can purchase it later on if you desire. But of course, guys, that is enough of my rambling. I hope you did enjoy once again. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a sequel out in around four to six months. We'll see what happens. See you guys.